All right, so we're starting our 12 week half marathon plan today actually. So this video is gonna be all about how we structured our plan and how you can structure your own to achieve ultimate success in your next race. So first we're going to review our current training plan that we built out for ourselves and stick around to the end of the video so that way you guys can get some tips on how you can structure your own training plan. But without further ado, let's get into our own. So for our training plan, what, there's going to be a lot of things that are different from our previous half marathon training. So starting off, we are running four times a week. Uh, previous training, we ran five times a week, and personally, that was just too much load for us. So four times a week is a sweet spot, and that's including two easy runs, one tempo run, and one long run, as well as we are including two cross-training strength sessions. So that way we're making sure that we're really going for injury prevention. So just a basic breakdown, those easy runs that we're doing twice a week, those are very, very easy runs. They're meant to be recovery runs. They're just for getting good mileage in at a very low aerobic uh, base. That's our goal of building there. As for our tempo, this is really what's gonna be a big change for us. In our previous half marathon training, unfortunately we kind of neglected, I feel, the importance of a zone two versus a zone four workout zone, which we'll definitely have more videos going more into these zones uh, in later series. But essentially you want your easy runs to be easy and your hard runs to be hard. So that's why we have one tempo workout a week to where there we're really gonna be emphasizing on hitting faster than our goal pace. So that way we can really work on building up a faster pace over time. And then as our long run, which is like the staple of any good half or full marathon training plan, uh, we'll be running one of these uh, ideally once every Sunday. And in that long run, we are also including a bit of tempo mileage, uh, which is gonna be at our race pace. So that way we can kind of mimic what our goal pace feels on tired legs. All right, so if you wanna make your own training plan, the first step is gonna be to assess your own fitness level. So. This is probably gonna change what type of race you wanna pick. So if you're brand new to running, you don't do it at all, this is your first half marathon, maybe you wanna set just a completion goal or a lower goal that you're able to attain. You want something that's gonna be able to scare you a little bit, but you also want it to be attainable. So maybe you're a little bit more experienced, you've done one or two races before, and you'd prefer to set a time goal or you're going for a PR for your next race. That's just gonna change maybe how long the plan is, how aggressive you're going with it, just for background, Gabby and I, we did one half marathon race that we did for completion, and then we just got came off of a full marathon that we also did for completion uh, around October time. So we've had about five months or so um, since our last race. So for us, we wanted to get back into it and set a time goal for ourselves to get back to a shorter, a shorter race and setting a realistic goal for that race. The next step involved in the process is that you're gonna wanna choose a race to do. In the past, I know Gabby and I have talked about like, well, maybe we'll just do it on some random weekend day, but no, you're gonna want an actual race that you're going to where other people can see you, there's an official time. It just makes the whole experience a lot more rewarding and actually prepare for something on a specific date. For us, we're doing the Colfax Marathon. So maybe you wanna pick a race that's close to you in your local city, or maybe you wanna travel to a city to, to do a race. So once you pick the race that you wanna do, all this is gonna do is just get you excited about a specific day, so that way you can backwards plan. So maybe when you wanna start your training plan, start getting excited about that specific day that you'll hopefully reach your next goal that you have set. The next step is gonna be the big one, and that's actually starting to map out your plan. We recommend if you're a beginner, you're gonna to wanna to give it at least three to four months, I would say, for a half marathon, so about 12 to 16 weeks. That'll just give you enough time to build your base, get in enough long runs and speed work in order to achieve what you want. But if you're a little bit more experienced, maybe you can cut that down to like 12 to eight weeks or so. Uh, but regardless, 
You're gonna wanna dedicate at least three to four days a week to running. Try to aim for four, maybe you can do it with three, but you're gonna wanna make sure that you have enough days in the week that you're running just to be able to increase your overall volume and running miles per week. So for our plan, we're running four days a week and with two days of strength training, Strength training can also be very helpful if you want something to do outside of just running. This is gonna help you mentally as well as prepare your body for putting 13.1 miles on it uh, come race day. Also what you wanna make sure that you incorporate in your plan is a steady volume of increase week over week. So we aim to do about a 10% increase in volume per week. This is a good way to ensure that you're increasing your overall volume, getting enough miles on your legs that you need to, to prep for the race, but also not expose yourself to the risk of injuries. If you increase volume by way too much, or you increase intensity by way too much too quickly, you're definitely at a higher risk of injury and that's gonna put you off for race day. So definitely want to avoid that. So of those three or four runs that you're gonna be incorporating per week, you wanna make sure that at least one of those runs is gonna be a long run. This is gonna be where most of your mileage is gonna come from and be the closest to what you're gonna do come race day. Another one of those runs is gonna be hopefully a speed run and that's gonna get you just used to picking up the pace a little bit so that all your miles aren't just super slow and monotonous. And then you'll have ideally one or two other runs during the week that'll just be at an easy pace, very conversational. It shouldn't be difficult at all, but again, just to be able to increase that mileage weekly. You are also probably gonna wanna make sure that you space out these runs throughout the week because rest days can actually be just as important as training days. So if you can avoid it, try not to schedule like super difficult workouts back to back because if you're putting all your effort into a long run or a speed run or whatever it is you're probably going to want about a day to recover from that and make sure that when you do come back to running that you're well rested and can perform at your highest level the last important tip that i think is really fun that you're going to want to make sure that you don't forget to include in your plan is a way to track progress we made our plan in a Google sheet so we can easily see, look at all the 12 weeks and see how our mileage is changing and maybe we can look back and see what we did. But in addition to that, if you can, track all your runs on a phone or on a watch. We are lucky enough to have these Garmin watches. They're super nice to be able to look back a couple weeks or a couple months in the past and just see where you were and see how you've improved. So this is gonna be really important when it comes to the mental aspect of completing your training plan when maybe you're feeling a little bit down, maybe you had a bad run that day or something, you can go back and look two months prior to maybe a similar run that you did and just see how much you've improved over time. All right guys, so that is the basic framework of making your own training plan. Next week, we're gonna dive all into the importance of easy runs, how they could help build your aerobic base and much more. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to Elite's channel as it's a great way to support Brendan and I as we go on with these adventures. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll catch you guys next week.